Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. We are at the middle of the week, and it is time for your midweek edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you so much for joining me here today, and I pray that your week is going well, and uh, let's let's dig into God's Word again and see what the Lord might have to say to each of us this morning. Now, if you remember, we started this week, uh, Monday and Tuesday, with a uh, week-long series from one chapter in the Bible, Romans chapter 12. And uh, so far, we've learned a lot. We've been able to unpack a lot of really powerful and challenging truths from that. And today is no exception. Uh, We're going to pick up right where we left off. We're going to go to verse 6. And we're going to go to verse 8. And uh, this kind of goes right along with what we talked about yesterday. Yesterday, we, we talked about how everybody is valuable. Every, you are and the people around you, uh, everybody is valuable. And this then kind of takes a step further and says, okay, here's how you should conduct yourselves. Take a look at this. And let me show you what Paul had to say to this group of Jesus followers, starting in verse 6. He says, in his grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So if God has given you the ability to prophesy, speak out with as much faith as God has given you. If your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. So what's Paul talking about? He's he's addressing different people that seem to be uh, inclined to be used in different ways at different times. And and some people, uh, actually all of us, okay. So l- let's just say this: all of us, we we've. We've got an area in our lives in the way that God has wired us where we are inclined to be used of more effectively than maybe in other areas as well. It doesn't mean we're better than anybody else. It just, some people just, for example, Paul mentions teaching, okay? Some people are just incredible teachers and they can just make the subject matter come to life and uh, all of these all of these giftings, okay, we, we saw leadership, we saw teaching, we saw encouraging, we saw serving others, we saw prophesying, whatever that might be, okay? Paul says, do that well. Do it well. If you're going to serve other people, man, serve them well. Don't, don't just try to do the bare minimum, but give everything to that. Uh, if you're teaching, you you teach well. You you give that everything you've got. If you're a leadership, you take that responsibility. If if yours is in some other area that God wants to use you, I think what Paul is saying here is that what we need to do is give our absolute best to those gifts that God has granted to us to serve the body of Christ. And uh, I I think there are a few things more sad. For me than to see somebody who might have a, a, a certain specialty or a certain gifting and they don't give it their all. What, what a waste. What a waste. It, it's, it's like being on the highway and only going 30 miles an hour and uh, j- just because you, you don't want to go faster than that, even though you can go 70, uh, you, you choose to go uh, at what you might think is a safer route. What's interesting is that that's not even a safe speed when you're in those circumstances. And you know what? When you only give part of yourself instead of everything that God has gifted you with, that's not safe either. That is unhealthy for you as a follower of Jesus Christ. Uh, I think the Lord looks at us and wants us to give our everything uh, in, in what he's blessed us with. So... In whatever area it is for you, giving, serving others, teaching, you're a leader, uh, all those that were listed here, could I challenge you, don't give a half-hearted effort. Don't even give 75% to that thing. You give give God everything, and he will bless that. 
He, he will take that and he will do something wonderful with that. You just give him your all and let him do the rest. Okay, hope that blesses you today. Uh, God bless you, and hopefully you'll have a great day today as you let that kind of digest in your spirit, okay? Lord willing, we'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.